back-breaking, nose-nipping, finger-freezing, shoveling snow can really make you hate days like these, but could a new app solve your winter woes? Our Royce Jones is live with that story, new at 5. Royce. <laughs> Christine, listen, the next time Mother Nature sends several inches of snow dumping down on your driveways, you're gonna wanna download this app. This is basically the middleman between contractors and customers and has been described as, wait for it, the Uber of snow plowing. I don't have to go out and sell. They sell for me and I get to do 100% work. This morning, Joe McBurney stepped off his snow-covered stoop and thought, but at least it's Christmassy. The snow was too deep and the job was too big. I have a snowblower, but it was a small one. It never would have tackled this. Then came Plows and Mows, a company offering outdoor home services on demand. Open their app or website Enter some information, get an instant price, and like ordering an Uber, you will be connected with the nearest contractor. Herbert Baker is one of them. I, at the moment, have seven in, in my work order. I don't like to go outside that because I don't want to upset somebody that's expecting me at a certain time. Well, the demand is insane right now. I mean, we're getting an order like every 12 seconds right now. The platform has over 8,000 professional landscapers nationwide, more than 100 in the Pittsburgh region, all working 24-7. You can simply just get a snowplow or you can have all your pathways shoveled or your driveway salted or even your car cleaned off. Other services include firewood delivery, lawn care and drone photography. And in true 2020 fashion, you can even hire someone to clean up your pet waste. Yeah, that's a thing. The average price for the snow removal service is about 60 to 70 bucks. Also, if you are not satisfied with the job that your contractor did, the app does have a section where you can leave a review and you will never have to see or work with that contractor again. Live in the North Hills, Royce Jones, KDKA News.